One, two, three, four, rock! Right. Big nice. fish in a far. I'm getting there, so oh, get, get your cap and get your car. As you can see, there's bait fish all along. Big here. fish in a span. Net chat, net chat. Got your what the heck? Sam, two keepers! Up there the lot of me. Summertime in New Orleans means speckled trout. Big fish in a far. Don't you love fishing with friends? Kissed the lid. <laughs> Big Fish TV is up and running thanks to great sponsors like Ray Brandt Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, Puglia, Sporting Goods, Cajun Outboards, Neil Record Insurance, the Clayton Fruget Law Firm, Penn Fishing, Berkeley, Abu Garcia, and Spiderwire, Ultimate Braid Fishing Line. Welcome to the Big Fish. I'm Captain C.T. Williams. We have a great show for you today. Now, late morning rains have moved us inside, but just before the downpour, Captain Lloyd Landry, Chad Manuel, and I snuck in a beautiful trip to the Buras Empire area. Now, wind and rain, of course, are still a strong part of the season, but if Mother Nature gives us even a slight break, the speckled trout are definitely showing up in better numbers. And the fact is, brown shrimp are starting to move. Female trout roe, or eggs, are just starting to hydrate or fill in, which means the start of the breeding season. Uh, the pogey and mullet are starting to show up in good numbers, and with the mild winter we experienced, even the early spring croaker are good sized. See, everything is in place for a great start to summer. So let's head down river to Captain Lloyd Landry's outcast charters in Buras. We'll jump in the boat to fish the fading marshes of Bay Palm Door, and then head down to the Empire Jetties for some nice sized speckled trout. Later, as usual, we'll get on down to the French Quarter, 808 Bienville, to see Chef Tenny Flynn, where he has an amazing side dish that might even qualify as a dessert. Chef's cooking bourbon mashed sweet potatoes. So get ready. Come on. Let's go fishing. All right, boys, as you can see, we have a little frog out today. Uh, we got lucky getting over here with no GPS. <laughs> I'm a highly tuned fishing machine. Yeah, with an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a pipeline. It's deep. And we have an incoming tide. We have a southeast wind right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up. It's all oyster shells all along these canes. It used to be land. And all these broken islands along the Beerus area. So we're just going to drift along with the wind on our back. We'll fish along. We catch a trout. We'll drop the power pole. We'll just keep on moving. We'll about 200, 300 yard drag, don't catch anything. We'll get back in the pipeline. We'll go to the next section of land, do the same thing. So, giddy up. Might be looking at a little Poisson Rouge, Captain Lord. Took it down slow. You thought his cork disappeared I, from the fog. I, I, honest with you, I thought it was just hung up on a little shell or something. You know, I started raising up and then I got the big thud. Punk. Uh huh. Come Could on. be a black drum off, but we've been having them. Bunch of oh, black drum? Oh, yeah. Getting a pretty good head shake, but you never know. Oh, I just saw the tail, and the tail's like. Uh -oh. Big black drum? Probably a big black drum. Monster drum, dinosaur. Oh. Go on, there Speckled you trout! Shot. Speckled trout coming in over the drum. Get him, Chad! Look, you gotta get it over my line, too. Hang on, Chad. I'll I got you. Line. Don't worry, but don't. You good. You good. <laughs> nice fish, too. Oh, oh. Up and away. Nice First trout of the morning. Nice fish, too. Yep, dead fish. Your supper, pal. Just kind of cruising along. Now, Lloyd, you know, we're talking about this fish being two feet under this cork, and I can see the cork. Water's really dirty. Right. But y'all are still catching a bunch of fish in here? Yeah. I mean, the water's dirty because we, we just had two days of 25 mile an hour winds, also with that front. So that's why, you know, I said it's kind of a no brainer gulping a cork and. You know, here we just get out here. Yeah, I mean, the cork's out of the water and you, you don't right. fish. No, he doesn't even know he's caught. <laughs> he, he, he's just cruising. And now he's going bye bye. All right. Circle we're, number one. We're going to keep fishing. Yeah, keep fishing. Oh. How big is the drum? Oh, it's about 600 square feet. <laughs> God, <laughs> Look at the size. Oh, man. <laughs> big man. Oh, come here, big man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> a drum. <laughs> we need a far clip to pick this dude up. <laughs> <Wicked kill. laughs> a little bait like this catches a fish this big. Look at the size of that thing, Lord. Jeez. All right, you fishing late spring. We're right in between Empire and Buras on the west side of the Mississippi River. And you know, the thing about fishing this time of year is, is, is primarily the fish are there. 
Bait's starting to move around a good bit, fish are feeding. Your biggest challenge is Mother Nature letting you get off of the dock. And even on fishable days, you may find it's difficult because after two or three days of 21 mile an hour winds, heavy rains, a lot of water moving in and out of the, uh, of the areas that you like to fish, that water's gonna be dirty. And that's the problem today is it's fishable. We're not fighting the high winds or any fronts moving through. But unfortunately, the water's still a little dirty. So finding the fish is gonna be, is gonna be challenge number one. And then once you get on them, you know, you're in pretty good shape. Caught him bouncing on the bottom. Huh? Yeah. There you go. We're struggling with a cork. Nice fish, too. I took my cork off. Nice. Beautiful. That's That's beautiful. He's, this is all shells right here. It's a reef right here. He was way off the bank. Oh. I'm going to get a sister. All right. We found him, baby. We found him. Come on in here, baby. Come on in here. Wow. Nice fish. Oh yeah, and I get to go right back out. Little Berkeley Gulf under a cork, picking up the good fish. Nice fish. <laughs> Check that out. Berkeley Gulf, new penny, chartreuse tail. That's a beautiful fish. Without a cork. New penny chartreuse, I got purple and chartreuse. I think it's pretty much if you get it in front of yeah, them. Yeah, the, the, the scent and the, and the old chartreuse tail, you see the water's kind of dirty, so, you know. You almost have to put it right on that right. nose in order to get them. But honestly, the, the water on the top is dirtier than the water underneath. I don't think he's there. Oh, oh yes, he is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good shot. Catch and almost release. I get on him. the rim. I get him. Make your cast. Come on in here, big boy. Got the spots. He's going to cast. No, it's not. No, it's not. Boy, flying <laughs> hog found an acorn. <laughs> Maybe they off the bank. Yeah. The blind right, nice hog found an acorn. Say what you want. No, you know, no hating. We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton & Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton & Fouget today. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. Pilgrim Sporting Goods and Metairie is your one-stop shop for anything you need for inshore, offshore, duck hunting, and deer hunting with rifle or bow. Pugilius is loaded with your favorite rods and reels from Shimano, Penn, Ibu Garcia, and Daiwa, as well as the lures that catch the big ones in South Louisiana. Can't find what you want? Pugilius will order it today and you'll have it tomorrow. Pugilius has all the best lines of bows with a tuning station and bow tuner on staff. And you know Pugilius has the greatest selection of guns in the area with experts on hand to answer all your questions. Stop in today. Pugles is at 1925 Veterans of Metairie and has been since 1968. Are you ready to hunt monster bucks? Twin Lakes Paradise is a world-class 1,700-acre whitetail ranch located just outside of Farmington, Missouri. Recognized as one of the top 10 breeders in the world, Twin Lakes guarantees your hunt with a 100% no game, no pay policy. Your stay includes a fully furnished cabin sitting on two 20-acre fully stocked lakes. Meals and fishing are included. Visit TwinLakesHunting.com today for all the details on your world-class hunt. You got a big drum. You got a big <laughs> drum. <laughs> yes, I got one. <laughs> that poor drum was just smiling his business, eating some oysters, and you gave him a shrimp to go with his oysters. Some shrimps. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> it's a triple wrap. Audience. Oh, and that's a quadruple wrap. Audience, this is what you don't want to do. Look yeah. at the swirl he's making. He's got a tail. <laughs> is that the trolling motor? Or the fin? No, that's, a fin. that's a red. No, that's a big old oh, drum. black? Yeah. That's a red's cousin. Oh. Dinosaur. What a beautiful fit. Saddle him up and ride him home. Mm. 
Uh, you know, this area is so eroded away that there are a lot of a lot of humps, ups and downs where there used to be canals. And one way you can find them is by looking at old GPS maps, where a lot of times, you know, it'll show that you're fishing on land, but you'll see where the canals are. And it's that that geographical change that's going to put places where the fish are going to be. In this case, you can see the little Roseau Island. This used to be land, and we're just fishing the stubble, finding speckled trout like this. I don't know how big it is. She ain't came up. We moved from uh, from some of the flats on the inside out here to the Empire Jetties. And you were saying that the, that the fish in here hadn't picked up a whole lot, but when they pick up this time of year, it's good sized fish. They're all yeah, they're all nice sized fish. So it'll uh, it'll be kicking off here. Like what, what's it going to take to get the fish to really kind of start thickening up in here like the normal? Well, way? that next full moon will get them kicked off out to the outside. This this last full moon. Or, or, trout and the bait really starts showing up on the inside for us and you know this next full moon i think we'll have it in It'll two weeks in. yeah but you got you got four pogey boats working that's a good sign when we pulled up we had three four dolphin working that's a good sign and then you catch this fish and that's about the best sign you're going to get so. well you just got to keep moving around i mean like you saw we we fished a couple points where they should have been and they weren't Come back around. Yeah, this we come side. back on the back side of the tide in the rocks, and boom! Right as soon as we got in here, we catch one. That's good. So, well, let's see if there's another one like it. You got it. Get ready. Call the taxi down. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh what's up, big girl? Woo! <laughs> nice fish. They just scattered. But hey, just keep bouncing around. Look, we are fishing. The conditions aren't the best. Right after that big front, it's kind of surprising. We had some calmer, calmer winds today, but the water's not the prettiest. But the fish are out on the beach, boys. Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I was wondering when we was gonna catch a red fish. Hey, and it's a keeper. Nice red. Hey, little buddy, got bad news for you, Scoop. You done made the traveling squad. <laughs> Pretty red. Big, big red. Come on, Chad. Close the deal. Oh, oh. Come on, Chad. Raise his head. Dead up. Man. Dead man. Come on, Chad. I need another one. I need a help. Oh, we need a help. Boy, would you come to me? <laughs> <laughs> a shot at him. There you go. Pretty red fish. Big red up against the rocks. I think all of them are just uh, patrolling up and down the rocks, looking for some big old pogies. Because it's that time of year. Oh, that was sheep. Oh, oh, oh. A rock lobster. A plethora of species today. Well, just bouncing it slow off the bottom. Easy. Oh, oh, that red. Oh, one more piece of What you say? <laughs> I can't even get my rod in my hand. Cast. Got a bull red, he cast back. He broke that ice, that's it, nice cocky. Nice off. Oh! Whoa! 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 Catch and release. Alright, I'm gonna leave again. <laughs> I'm gonna leave again. We're leaving. Good God from Gretna. Old male right here. Talk to me, buddy. <laughs> Empire beers, baby. Giving them up. It's going to be a good year. Good year till I make my way over to Breton Sound over there by CT. <laughs> At Raybrand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank, we got minor hail damage with major savings. All of our inventory is getting repaired right now by the painless dent guys. Come save thousands, plus fresh units are arriving daily. Only at Raybrand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at raybranddodge.com.
New Orleans' first dry stack boat storage facility, Seabrook Harbor, can accommodate 200 boats up to 40 feet long. We are located at the Industrial Canal, less than one mile from Lake Pontchartrain and the Seabrook Bridge. Our full service facilities feature a fuel dock with gas and diesel, a ship store with snacks, tackle and more, and Seabrook Harbor sells live shrimp in season. Additional amenities include a fish cleaning station and showers. Seabrook Harbor, New Orleans' premier dry stack boat storage facility, where we do more than just store. Want wholesale boat prices in the retail market? Cajun Outboards is the place for you. Scotty and Mike are back, and you know what that means. They won't be undersold. Skeeter, Shearwater, Blazer, Bay and Bass Boats, Yamaha, and Mercury? Come to Cajun Outboards on Highway 1 in Addis, or visit CajunOutboards.com under new, I mean old, management. Call now for a quote, 225-749-5001. Good morning, honey. Not today. You are not going fishing today! Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod. They're in a huge sale sale going on right now at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank. We'll trade for anything. Plus, if your vehicle was damaged during the recent hailstorm, we'll help you through the insurance process. Only at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandDodge.com. <laughs> Ow! Empire beers, baby. Giving them up. It's going to be a good year. We're really starting to see that weather change now. What sort of patterns are you seeing? What sort of fish are, you know, popping up where? What's developing right now? It's, it is spring. You're not going to catch a hunter trout on a point on an island. You're going to have to move, burn a little gas, bounce from what we have marsh, what marsh we do have left, spot to spot. But uh, you know, pretty much, we've had that. The last full moon we had, it brought a lot of trout and a lot of bait in to the inside towards the river. A lot of people say where they came from. We didn't catch a lot up in here, up on the inside of Beerus and Empire during the winter. Uh, the fall was phenomenal, but you know the fish just kind of disappeared. Well, all of a sudden we're starting to see some shrimp, starting to see a lot of mullet and pogies in the marsh, and then on the outside, we didn't catch a lot in each spot, but we caught a fish everywhere we went. You and, know? and nice fish. Nice fish, right? So, uh, and it all was finding some bait and moving water. So, you know, right now is just move around and. Like we said earlier, a switch will go off in the next couple of weeks, this next full moon will come through, and you'll get to that spot that you've only been catching five or ten, and you'll catch a hundred. And load the boat. You know? we're, we're, we're subject to a whole lot of wind right now. We're getting, getting three, four, five days of 20 plus mile an hour wind. How important is water clarity? It, it's, it's real important. As you saw today, I mean, we just had two days of terrible weather. It's been dirty everywhere. We get a day or two where it lays down some, we have so many oysters in Empire and Beerus, that water will clean up in no time. You know, one good tide, boom, the water's beautiful. You see all the top of the water is kind of dirty and milky, but you got to remember underneath is clean green seawater, you know. Beautiful red fish, bring him up. Ah! Ah, that's Ooh, a look at the head on that thing. That sucker shook that head, my knees came out. <laughs> beautiful. That's one thing about these rocks, you never know. Big trout, red. Cheap head, everything, drum. Everything fish is on. They're fishing just like you are, looking yeah, for bait, up they and are. down. Oh, I'm telling you, I got a weak knee. <laughs> oh, big filet on the barbecue pit right there. There you go. That sucker's healthy, boy. That's a pretty one. Look at the girth on that fish. He's got a good filet on him. Feed the boys where, at Bray Brandt. Where'd you, where'd you catch him? Right. On them rocks way, way back there? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of our most popular dishes, winter and summer. It's a side dish, but we incorporate it in some of our seafood and um, poultry items as well. And that's uh, Louisiana sweet potatoes. And we do them a little bit differently. I've already got the sweet potatoes cooking on the fire. I've got them cut in about two inch pieces and I'm just boiling them in salted water for about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna put together the rest of the recipe here, which is gonna be three pretty ripe bananas. If you get the kind that are a little bit black on the outside, that's good for this. 
just like the kind you'd use to make banana bread. Um, a cup of heavy cream. Honey. Brown sugar. Fresh orange juice. I've already pulled the seeds out of these, but just in case we get up, oh, there's a seed. I thought I might get another one. I guess I really ought to be straining these into here, huh? We serve this with a duck dish here at Finn's. And as you can tell, it's going to be a little bit sweet and a little bit rich, so it goes very well with the duck. And I've got a vanilla bean here that I'm going to split down the middle. And I'm going to scrape. And then throw the whole bean in there. I'm going to scrape it first, and then after it cooks in there, I'm going to scrape it again. I'm going to kind of spread it open a little bit. put that on the fire and cook it for about 10 minutes. At Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank, we got minor hail damage with major savings. All of our inventory is getting repaired right now by the painless dent guys. Come save thousands, plus fresh units are arriving daily. Only at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at raybranddodge.com. Hey y'all, Sam Barbera here to tell you about Moran's Marina at the Fouchon. Chris and his crew really have it all. A 24-hour deli and store with dock and roadside fuel. A first-string restaurant and bar. Waterfront hotel with wet slips. Plus, all of the premium tackle you need. And live bait. Hey, Captain Chris Moran. Moran's Marina with the catch of the day. Come down to Moran's Marina <laughs> to hang out, if nothing else. It's a fact. All roads lead to Moran's. The Pen Conquer is the most technologically advanced spinning reel built. Good thing this drag makes noise. You wouldn't even know it's going out. Smooth HT100 drag under the heaviest loads. I am amazed how smooth that drag is. Patented one-piece machine gearbox. One-of-a-kind easy access system for a lifetime of painless maintenance. What a home run. Pen. Legendary performance. Want wholesale boat prices in the retail market? Cajun Outboards is the place for you. Scotty and Mike are back, and you know what that means. They won't be undersold. Skeeter, Shearwater, Blazer, Bay and Bass Boats, Yamaha, and Mercury? Come to Cajun Outboards on Highway 1 in Addis, or visit CajunOutboards.com. Under new, I mean old, management. Call now for a quote, 225-749-5001. During a huge sale sale going on right now at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank, we'll trade for anything. Plus, if your vehicle was damaged during the recent hailstorm, we'll help you through the insurance process. Only at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandDodge.com. Okay, our sweet potatoes are fork tender. Want them nice and soft but not falling apart. And I'm going to transfer them into this colander to drain them a little bit. And I'm going to dump this in there because I need this pot back. nice and dry and didn't dump any of them out on the counter that's good and our cream and banana and vanilla bean and brown sugar and honey mixture is done here I like to get the bananas kind of mashed up first because they have a tendency to discolor in with the, the potatoes I don't know why I'm going to scrape these vanilla beans one more time to see if I can get any more out of them. I kind of open up the little seam there. Yeah, I'll get a pretty good bit. Now 
I've got a big potato masher here that I'm going to use for this. I'm just going to start mashing it all together. I haven't added any salt to this recipe other than the salt that went in the water that the, the potatoes are cooked in, so we may have to add a little bit of that when we add our, our little bit of butter and our little bit of bourbon that goes in this. Let's see. A little bit of salt, a little piece of butter to finish it with. And a little bit of bourbon right at the end. All right, and here's our finished dish. Just sweet potatoes with bananas, vanilla bean, and bourbon. GW Finn's restaurant has dinner items so fresh, they print a new menu daily. Call for reservations and tell them CT said to give you the best seat in the house. Well, that's the big fish for today. Thanks for joining us. If you have any comments, questions, compliments, or even criticisms, you can send them to us on the website, bigfishfinder.net. And if you head out to do a little fishing, let me know how you do. Special thanks to Captain Lloyd Landry of Outcast Charters. Lloyd's not only a great inshore fisherman, he has some of the nicest lodging downriver. He also has some really good food from his cook and housekeeper, Ro. And she's a character. So check out the website when you can. If we don't see you on the water, well, I hope we catch you right here next time. Until then, take a minute to look at BigFishFinder.net. This is a website filled with great fishing information for everyone, and if you become a member, you can find GPS numbers as well as marked maps and detailed information to fishing spots that are active right now. The site is new and continues to grow, but already has a great deal of good information. Before your next fishing trip, give it a try. Oh, 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 oh. You trying to get a Drago sponsorship? Little, little, little half shell here. That's it. Ooh, look at that. Look, look, even, even the tail wiggled. <laughs> Relocating the, cause both my my team turned and they didn't help me. They threw their baits right where I hooked them. <laughs> That's not true at all. I reeled in quick to come help. I uh, know. I'm just. Picking. I didn't take it off the hook. I, I'll admit to that. That's fine. I did cast right away. While well, both of my guests are hooked in the back. Oh, I just got hit in. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom is a. Oh, smoked me. <laughs> <laughs>